Hi guys, so this is Michelle D of Glow Up. So we're currently shooting another questions episode for you guys. I have here the one and only Rian Ramos. <laughs> and Wilman yung 25 questions pero syempre we want to give Rian a chance to say her resolutions if meron man. Okay, so just answer as fast as you can. Okay. Number one, what is your motto or catchphrase for 2020? I don't have one. I don't have one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> for 2020, hold your life peg and why? My life peg? Jennifer Lawrence. Give me your top three New Year's resolutions. I'm not a resolution kind of person. I usually do all of my changes like, you know, all throughout the year. I already uh, gave up alcohol. Um, I just pretty much want to be healthier all around. And I want to eat more vegetables. And this year, I want to have a new business, but I can't tell you what it is. If you need to overcome one of your major fears this year, ano ang uunahin mo mong gumas? That would be the business because I've been doing showbiz for so long. It almost has made me feel not confident and not educated. And you know, you have to be a very good planner and everything. So. Number five, name three people you want to spend more time with this year. My mom, my sister, and my grandma. You know, I didn't spend Christmas with them, I didn't spend New Year with them, and that's usually like family time. I also moved out of our family house last year. So because of that, that combo, yeah. I kind of owe them more. Number seven, Mary Kabang special project na kailangan namin abangan. February is the start of the airing of Love of My Life. Very <laughs> Recently, just started vlogging. Hey, speakers! You're at Balikasag Island to see some sea turtles. It's challenging but creative because hindi nila alam may mapapasok ang sarili mong humor yeah. or or artsiness ko ano man yung gusto mo ipasok sa edit. Mapasok mo yung personal. Papasok ka then na abangan yung vlog namin dalawa. Yes. 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 Gagawa kami ng vlog. <laughs> Number nine, if there is a major lesson you learned in 2019 that you can apply in 2020, what is that? You know what I realized? There's no actual right time for anything. It's really up to you to make an opportunity. It's hard to wait for the right time for something to happen when you know that it's something that needs to happen anyway. If you're waiting for a sign, this is it. Oh, so we have a fan question here from Hans Jacob. Okay. Ready ka na ba ma in love this 2020? I already am. Oh. We're just not super public about it. That's why some people think I'm still single. I always get asked questions that are written for single people. And I actually am already in a relationship on January 30, one year now. Did you hear that, mga kapuso? <laughs> Rian Ramos is off the market. <laughs> Number 12, what is a skill na gusto mong matutunan for 2020? And why? Tuturuan ako ni Michelle B to ride a motorbike. Kasi bisikleta nga lang, hindi ko nga I want to challenge myself and mandame ng ibang taong pwede kong i-challenge. Hindi ko pwedeng paangkas na lang. How does it feel to travel alone? I think it's a very confidence-boosting kind of thing. Because you start doing things that you're not even ready for. It's amazing what you can do when you don't really have a choice. The first time I ever did it was in my very early 20s. It must have been 20 actually. Like road trip lang yan, marami kang matututunan. Okay, so now that we're on the topic of traveling, what are your travel plans this year? This year, hey naho, if you're gonna nang sinasabi yung Bali, hindi naman ang iyari. Kasi there's always something comes up and then, syempre, pagbalik ko dito, I have to. You know, do my responsibilities, yeah. the back. So I think this year is the real year for Bali. I mean, the Bali Maldives. I want, I want a beach destination because I always pick um, a city. 
anong social media habit ang gusto mong ituloy or ikwit this year? Ituloy, I just want to be consistent about posting because sometimes gaganahan ako and then sometimes you won't see me for a whole week or even more than a week. Sa iyo, to be healthy? Um, to be healthy, honestly, it's really just me. I mean, it started before for vanity reasons, and now that I know the difference in the feeling, yeah, I know when I'm not at my optimum. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I know that I'm not as energetic. You're like more lethargic, or mm -hmm. you feel more prone to getting sad. Yeah, but is there anything from your current routine? Or that's not that you want to add to your abilities. Mahilig naman din ako mag-workout, but I think I can really make better food choices. I want to try to eat more healthy. Paano mo is a celebrating birthday? Wow, hindi pa nang isip. Kasi October 3rd ko yun. Advance kayo mag-isip. I plan to collect a lot of gifts from people in Globa. Wow. Okay. Madami yan. Obviously, start pa lang yun. Yung iniisip na nila. Start ka na. I honestly feel like that would be a really comfortable yeah. but fun theme. I think that would be really, really fun. Uh, biggest purchase that you want to do this year? Or want to do this year? I really need a new car now. Okay. Because my, the, the van that I use for dating is 11 years old? I don't want to see that. 2020. I'm not going to see that. It just won't let me buy a new car. Don't I deserve it? So, like I said, I'm not gonna wait for the right time. I'm not gonna wait for the right time. I think I'm just going to get a new car already. Well, if you're looking for a sign, this is it. <laughs> Friends, what charity, church, or nonprofit would you like to support? I think I want to stick to educating people in poverty, especially because. But people that grow up in different walks of life also grow up with a different yeah. perspective. The things that you think are possible yeah. are different. No one should be afraid of hard work. Because yeah. everything is hard work. And changing anything in your life is hard work. What was your proudest moment last year? My proudest moment last year? Oh my goodness. Um, I think it was when I was leaving New York and my friends there threw me a despedida and I couldn't believe. I've always had insecurities about making new friends and everything, but I went there alone and I left like with a new family. What is the best advice you give yourself for doing? I think 2020 is a year na a lot of things that I worked on in 2019 are going to pay me back. So I think this year is one that I just want to enjoy and not worry too much about things. Because this is, this is the year that all of my hard work in 2019 that I did behind the scenes that no one saw um, will come into fruition. This is from at Thea Tamalia, at Michelle Diaz, at Persica. Yes. <laughs> How much do you love the glow up? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Easy question! Watch me knock this out of the park. <laughs> They're fans of me, fam. Um, so even if I've only done glow up for a day, it was comfortable, I felt at home, and at the same time, I think it's great what you guys do to improve people's self esteem, help them find themselves. If you want to keep updated with all of the things that I do, please follow all my social media accounts on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube. It's all the same at Me and Ramos and on Facebook, Me and Ramos Official. That's a wrap. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.
Mga kapuso, higit 10 milyon ang nakasubscribe sa GMA uh, Network YouTube channel, ang fastest growing channel sa Asia. Nakatanggap tayo ng Diamond Play Button Award mula sa YouTube. Higit 10 milyon ang aming pasasalamat. Hanggang sa susunod na 10 milyon, magkita rin tayo mga kapuso.